Hey y'all, I'm Amina and this is The Teach-In, where I comb through ideas related to race, gender, and social power. Today, we're answering the question, what is the difference between racism and anti-blackness? Many have heard or used the term racism in conversation, but there are disagreements about what the word means. Racism refers to prejudice, discrimination, or antagonism based on one's membership and an underrepresented racial or ethnic group. Racism occurring as a result of an institution's policies or procedures may be called institutional racism. An example of institutionalized racism is the Federal Anti-Drug Act of 1986. The Federal Anti-Drug Act of 1986 mandated harsher penalties for possession of crack cocaine, an inexpensive drug that was commonly found in poor, majority black communities. Until the Fair Sentencing Act of 2010, it took 100 times as much powder cocaine as crack cocaine to receive the same 5, 10, or 20 year mandatory minimum prison term. Before 2010, folks charged with crack cocaine possession, mostly black, served far longer sentences than those charged with powder cocaine possession. In this example, racism is institutionalized because the punishment of the mandatory minimum is applied based on race. The law can be identified as racist because it clearly results in an unjust social outcome for black people. The Federal Anti-Drug Act of 1986 is racist, but is it anti-black? Yes. All laws maintain a system of social life and social death. Social life refers to all of the things individuals do within a civil society. Social death refers to the position held by a slave when exposed to gratuitous violence, general dishonor, and natal alienation. Though the formal institution of slavery has been abolished, laws since slavery have not forgotten their roots. As legal professor Anthony Paul Farley puts it, the law does not forget its father. Farley argues that the law, as we know it in the US, was conceived and enacted to maintain a social world based on whiteness over blackness. So what is blackness? Many have attempted to answer this question by speaking of cultural habits, but I am not discussing culture. Blackness refers to a position denied of personhood. Instead of what black people do or have together, blackness is the condition of individuals who reflect or are associated with acts or markers of blackness. Those who are racialized as black, black people, often perform and exist in blackness, black skin, black vernacular, black communities. But this blackness is routinely met with anti-blackness, lynching, miseducation, and prisons as a replication of chattel relations. In the words of Dr. Kiana Ross, anti-blackness describes the inability to recognize black humanity. Anti-blackness functions by replacing black with slave in the individual and social imagination. With slave comes social death, including gratuitous violence, dishonor, and alienation. Anti-blackness is the justification of police violence that ends black life. Anti-blackness is the continuation of a justice system that disproportionately punishes black people and a prison system that inhumanely houses and routinely tortures people. Anti-blackness maintains the logic and relations of slavery by casting individuals as not quite human and routinely denying honorable access to social categories including woman, worker, and citizen. An over 40-year-old New York state law makes it illegal to loiter for the purpose of engaging in prostitution. To enforce this law, officers must observe people in public, analyzing their movement and appearance to determine if they are, in fact, intending to engage in prostitution. Courts have convicted women of the loitering charge, often referred to as walking while trans, because they were wearing form-fitting clothing or wearing clothing that did not appear to match their gender. Almost half of the New Yorkers charged with the offense in 2018 were Black or Latinx. Racialized, gendered, and economic ideas of humanity determine what a person engaging in sex work looks like and are used to alienate black and Latinx folks from social status, property, and even life. The walking while trans law goes beyond institutional racism. Black and Latinx women are denied the honor of the category of women and are instead labeled as deviant and criminal and are exposed to the violence, alienation, and dishonor of the prison system. The walking while trans law, unlike racist laws, does not unequally target black and Latinx women in response to criminal activity. The walking while trans law, like its anti-black father, sees only what it believes are deviant, sexualized bodies and punishes them for no justifiable reason. Anti-blackness marks bodies as deviant and unworthy of care or life. 
It's more slippery and conniving a snake than racism. And, to reference Dr. Ross again, anti-blackness has bigger fangs. Understanding the difference between racism and anti-blackness allows individuals to identify instances where racism is absent, but anti-blackness is present. I encourage you to read Call It What It Is, Anti-Blackness by Dr. Kiana Mariah Ross. Works referenced in this lesson are cited in the video description and may also serve as useful readings in your self-study journey. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel for updates on all new videos. Follow on Instagram and like on Facebook to connect to the teachings community. Hopefully, this video has helped you answer the question, what is the difference between racism and anti-blackness? As always, be well.